Hey guys, Nerdy Pop Warrior back with another mystery box unboxing, this time from M3 Toys Plus. I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, SDCC pops that just were released. Hopefully everybody got what they wanted. I'm going to show you two that I picked up in store and the rest will come next week. Um, if you guys are liking my videos, please like, subscribe, and ding the bell so you get notified when new content is uploaded. I am four subscribers away from my first giveaway. I've got some amazing ideas of what I want to do for that first giveaway, but if you have any ideas, please share them because I know we all have our own collections of what we like, whether it's anime, whether it's games, Disney, Harry Potter, Star Wars, so I'm kind of wondering what you guys are interested in. So, um, let's get started. So I want to share with you the two I picked up in store and then the rest I will, um, so the first, I, my thing is I would rather save time, um, than money. And that may not always make sense to people. So what I did was the night before when everything went live at midnight Eastern, I went and I bought everything I wanted, um, except for one um, that I was willing to get up and go for. And that, my friends, is the Up 2 pack with Carl and Ellie. It is one of my favorite Pixar movies, but just one of my favorite Disney movies in general. And um, so it is really adorable with the young Carl and Ellie, Carl there with his balloon that says Spirit of Adventure, and Ellie with her My Adventure book, but um, it is adorable, and I love it. So the rest, and so the rest I got were the Flocked Fox from Hot Topic, um, the Astronaut Snoopy and the Gini from Barnes and Noble, and the McCree from um, GameStop. So I ordered all those online to save me time there um, and I happened to go into Barnes and Noble today and I wasn't going to do it but I picked up Rita Skeeter. Um, she's not one of my favorite characters but right now Barnes and Noble is doing Pops 3 for 25 if they're $14.99 and under. She was $14.99 so um, I picked up, up that Pop for me. Uh, pop for my son. He loves BTS. And then another pop for my daughter. Snuggletooth wanted the uh, Funko Wetmore Forest pops. So that is a good deal if you can get it. So M3 Toys. I've had very good luck with them before. I've gotten some really good pops. So this was their MVP mystery box. It was $49.99 with a guaranteed value of between $50 to $300. There were only 50 total boxes, you got to pick your number um, within reason. Like if you picked it and you were slow, then when you went to check out, you may have to um, uh, pick a different one. Well, I picked number 10, and so um, I'm super excited. So you get one of the pops pictured in their little glam shot, plus up to four others. Now, I can't remember everything that was in the picture, but there were a lot of good ones. But one thing I'm very worried about, and I already sent a picture to M3 Toys is when I received the box. It's got a little bit of mush going on. On more than one side. So I'm hoping, I sent some pictures to them to let them know that this happened um, and to, so they would be aware and then we shall see if anything in here is damaged. So get right into this here. Um, I know there were some ad icons. I saw somebody get another one of the grails. There were there were a lot of good ones. Um, there were some that I, you know, really didn't care for, but that's going to be in every box normally. So, let's see what we got here. So, when I open it, we got the M3 Toys. Um, little postcard. So there is a lot of bubble wrap, so hopefully that will help 
with anything that might be going on in here. And I'm going to try not to look and see what we got. So we've got one in a soft protector and three others. Now that could bode well because they said you would get one pop from the picture and up to four others. And since I only got three others, maybe this is a good one. So we'll just pull out the non... Let's see, this is the front. We'll go like this. All right. Okay, Charmander. I already have, but he's pretty awesome. Um, I have all the Pokemon so far, except for the 10 inch, not as much into the 10 inch because they take up so much room, but I'm waiting for Squirtle to come out. So we got Charmander, which is awesome. The next one, let's see here. Shaggy. Okay, so this is from the new uh, line. So all of these are common so far. So this is making me feel pretty good about and. I'm loving that they're doing all the villains. These are all really nice. And then, of course, Shaggy with a big old sandwich. We all know he loves to eat. And the last one that is not in a protector is the Specialty Series Xenomorph. Um, he looks pretty awesome. He's got that blue metallic look to it. Um, he does have the damage. He must have been on the side with the damage so um the other two there was no damage let me just take a quick peek again um actually there's some damage here on shaggy and let's check out charmander charmander is perfectly fine and now we have the one in the protector let's see what we got it is freddy funko it is i think this is this the one from like if you join the fun club or is this a social media one? I am not um, always the biggest fan of the Freddies. This one, um, because it was in the soft protector, there is no damage. It just has that um, plastic still on the protector. So that's what, um, if it looks damaged, that's all that that is. But the box itself, there is no damage. So not too bad. Um, so, basically we got a couple of like more exclusives or specialty series, and then we got two commons, so that's pretty cool. So, like I said, the box had all that damage on it, so I did reach out to M3 Toys. Hopefully they will reach out to me and we can kind of discuss a um, way forward with the pops that were damage to see if we can get a replacement or how they want to handle that so um like i said i picked number 10 um so that's the one i got um and all in all not too bad i mean i will probably keep um all of well I, charmander will definitely be up for trade um shaggy will probably be up for trade the xenomorph i'm going to talk to them since it is the one that had um, all the damage right here um, might stay with me if I can get a replacement and I'll probably keep Freddy because um, I'm looking to kind of get started with the Freddy collection speaking of Freddy collection if anybody picked up one of those tiki boxes from the fun days let me know in the comments below I was was up at 11.30 last night and was able to pick one up. So I'm super excited to see what I got. Some of the glam shots and everything that I'm seeing on social media, they look pretty amazing. I would love to have one of those like um, really limited edition ones. I have like only 24 of one. That would be amazing to get that in one of those boxes. So I'm really looking forward to it. I should hopefully get that next week. I don't know how long um that they will take to send those out because sdcc is still going on i don't know if they're going to send them from there or what they're going to do so more to come on that but um yeah all in all m3 toys does a really great job like i said you know hopefully with this box damage they will make things right with me but um yeah i'm super excited to get the rest of my sdcc pops in and um my next video will probably be, if not the Tiki Box when I get it, um, some of my SDCC exclusives that I got, or I may do a video 
based on one of my favorite areas of my collection and that's my Wonder Woman collection um, I'm a big fan of Wonder Woman and I have a big collection but I'm always looking to expand it so when I do it and if you have some that I don't have and are willing to make some trades we can definitely talk I'm gonna put my Instagram in the description below so you can um, send me a message if you want to discuss anything and also I'm gonna put m3 toys link in the description in case you're interested in any of their mystery boxes and um, thank you guys so much like I said only four subscribers away from a hundred my first giveaway super excited to start giving back to the community because you guys have been awesome supporting me in this early stages of this endeavor that I'm doing with my YouTube channel so I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.